Hello, uh, my name is Richard Cox, and uh, I'm the uh, designer and builder of the TRJ300. I know many of you expressed a lot of interest in the engine, and I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you very much for, uh, for your interest in purchasing our video. At this time, we're going to walk through each of the components of the engine to give you a little better idea of how it's put together and how it works. Here we have the uh, TRJ300 in a uh, test stand configuration. Um, I'd like by starting, or I'd like to start to explain uh, this area is the uh, afterburner or augmenter area. We have a two-stage uh, injection system for the augmenter. Uh, the first stage injects alcohol or, or diesel, and then the second stage is for uh, uh, alcohol and water. Uh, first stage, excuse me, I think I said alcohol and diesel is actually kerosene or diesel. And then the second stage is water and or alcohol. Here is the main combustion can or chamber with a dual ignition system connected to an AC ignition or igniter. Uh, there are many combinations of uh, ignition systems available out here, but for this test run we're using an AC igniter. Here we have our uh, propane uh, initial start header. We inject propane for the initial start and then we turn on the uh, main fuel pump system which allows us to start pumping kerosene into the uh, combustion can and then we're able to cut out the uh, propane. Here we have a mechanical flow control valve that will allow us to throttle up fuel flow into the second and third stages of the can here, which will bring our horsepower and thrust up. Okay, here is the main turbo. I don't know if you can get that on the uh, video too well, but it's located in under here. This particular turbo is a VT50 turbo, but there are many different turbocharger combinations available. As a matter of fact, we're going to offer information to all of our buyers on the various turbochargers in order to get different thrust combinations. Some of these turbos are extremely large. This particular one is, uh, I think, about a 1400 CFM VT50. Over here we have, uh, this is our compressor header. We take bleed air off the compressor header and route it up to this tank, which is our water alcohol tank. We have two solenoids that open simultaneously. The bleed air pressurizes the tank and allows the water or alcohol to be forced back here to the second stage uh, afterburner. Here we have an oil pump and an oil tank and an oil cooler. And now, that's pretty much the basics, and uh, at this time I'd like to go ahead and do an initial start and run up on the engine, and I hope you enjoy the video.